What's up everybody and welcome back to Steinfab Garage. Today we're back on the SC400 rebuild. We've had some minor setbacks due to the truck and yesterday we got rained out so the truck and weather have not been on our side. We will be working on straightening the frame and getting our body lines to line up. The main issue we're going to deal with right away is the fact that this fender is about a quarter inch under the hood. If you look down this frame rail, you can tell it's bowed in when you compare it to this one that kind of angles out. So the thing we're gonna do is put a chain around the lower core support. Then we're gonna get a truck and pull it, straighten the frame by doing that. We're just gonna yank it until the hood will close and all the body lines are good up here. Then we're gonna start cutting everything off damaged and build the core support from there. This doesn't matter. We're gonna bend the f out of this. It doesn't matter if this rips no, off. I saw this was bending. I was like, holy oh, No, but it's gonna flex back. Hold that this. That's freaking pretty sick, though. Not yeah. gonna lie. We'll get it. That's good. Ooh, just a little bit. Can I go too much? Yeah. No. That is a lot, huh? Might have gone too much. Should I hit the tree again? Yeah. Way closer. Just got another quarter inch to pull. Keep going. Okay. Jeez, buddy. I didn't think it was this bad. A little more? A little more. Alright, cut. Right there! I don't know, I think that's pretty good. We bought a parts car, so let's go see what the gaps look like on that. Corner right here. We should have about that much. You see what I mean? Okay. Because it, it's good rolling with the body line. And we should have a gap. Based on the other car, we're still off quite a bit. About a quarter. Quarter on both sides. But once it comes out, it will actually line up. Right there. Ah, that's way too much. I don't know. What do you guys think? That's perfect. Perfect? It's because the chain made it look way worse. No, dude, look Watch, at the gap. You, you... That's a nice gap. Perfect. That's even a nice gap back here. Perfect gap. We could even kick out the front a little more. Send it. Keep going. Right there. I think we did a little too much. What do you think? No, that's good.
We've been doing a lot of pulling on here for about the past two hours. At first we try we straightened uh, this frame rail. We over pulled it a little, but then we come along it back that way. Hooked up up here to this damaged core support and we're able to actually get the fender to align. We got it gapped pretty good. It might need some fine tuning, but we haven't even loosened the fender so we can loosen the fender and adjust it exactly where we want it to be. This side also got pulled in. So we got out the welder and welded the chain to the apron right there and just pulled it out. We might have over pulled this one, but it's this is so much straighter than it was. Next up, we're gonna get the grinder out and cut off this upper core support and we're gonna cut off the lower radiator support. It just poured out here and right now it is looking pretty good. We're gonna just call it and go get material. We're gonna put a piece of angle iron here about one inch by two inch to reinforce all this so that we don't just weld uh, tube to it and then it just rips off in a tube pattern. It's like when you do a roll cage and you need your base landing plates. That's what we're gonna do here. So that's all for today. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning. It's the next day. We got bright blue skies today. Doesn't look like it's gonna rain. They didn't have angle iron, so we got some square tubing. I went ahead and cut up a piece of two by two uh, square tubing into these brackets right here. But they weren't quite long enough to go and ca catch the bolts for the toe points. So I went ahead and found a piece of three by three way thicker. This is honestly overkill so that the toe points are solid to the chassis. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and buzz these to the frame. I've gone ahead and welded our frame reinforcements in. Welds are better than I did on the Tundra exhaust. It's really hard to weld thick steel to sheet metal. Now we have a good solid landing point to drop our bar for our core support and wrap around here. I'm gonna go ahead and do some tests. I'm gonna try taking out pie cuts, a pie cut here and a pie cut here. And I'm gonna see if that will allow us to bend and weld a 90. This side actually came out good. This side is just garbage. So I'm not gonna even try to use this. I'm just gonna go bend one up and it's too wide overall. That's essentially what we're going for. This was a good test run. Let's go to my friend's shop and bend a real one that actually works. We were gonna go to my friend's shop and bend up the radiator support, but he's not there right now. In the meantime, we're pulling the bumper off the SC300 so that we can mock it up on the 400. And it's gonna feel good getting the bumper on, the headlights on. And then after that, it's just welding up the core support and uh, making brackets to everything. 
So we're getting there, guys.